Hi, I'm Lynn and I'm one of the application specialists at Zeiss for the refractive lasers. Welcome to the tutorial videos on our analysis and nomogram calculation tool Visualize from Zeiss. The topics that we will be covering include how to set up the software, how to collect data, how to analyze data, how to create nomograms and how to select and apply nomograms. So let's begin. As an introduction, I would like to give you a short overview about the user interface of Zeiss Visualize and how to set up and configure the software after installation is completed successfully. The main user interface shows these four big workflow steps in order to statistically analyze refractive outcomes and develop nomograms for our refractive clinics. Collect data, analyze those data, create nomograms, and select and apply these nomograms. Visualize offers some user settings here in the top right corner to configure the software before you start to collect data. When you click on this button, you will find some information on the software release, some manufacturer information, and licensing information. Further down, you can save backups on your local system of the existing database of your collected data, and you can also restore old backups. You have also the option to set a specific examination schedule, meaning depending on the selected schedule all post-op examinations of the patients will be automatically saved within the specific time interval based on the examination date. The next section is the overview of lasers to also cover clinics that have more than one laser as well as distinguish between the different device types like eczema lasers, femtosecond lasers to be able to filter by these later on. So you can enter a specific name like Isumax 800 demo and select the corresponding device type and add this device to your list. In the last part of the user settings, you can set your preferred parameters and units that means you can set the visual acuity notation like logma, sand 6 meters, 20 feet or decimal, as well as the cylinder notation, positive or negative. And hit the OK button. 